Hi guys, let's derive equations of motion by graphical method. Derive equations of motions by graphical method. So we are having three equations of motion that equal to to describe the motion or the relation between final velocity, initial velocity, acceleration, time and displacement. So the first equation of motion V equal to U plus AT and the second equation of motion S equal to UT plus half AT square and third equation of motion V square minus U square equal to 2AS. So these three are the three equations of motions. So let us derive these three equations of motions by graphical method. So let me draw first a uniform velocity graph. Suppose if I draw a uniform velocity graph as a two dimensions. So this is my velocity versus time graph. Now an object is moving with uniform velocity. So this is a straight line. Now I consider two locations, it's capital A and capital B. Now when time, so this is the origin, so the object is already having some initial velocity. So here U is initial velocity. And after reaching certain distance, and after a certain time, so it's having its a final velocity as V. So here V is final velocity. And if you can write that corresponding time, so to move from A to B, so it has taken certain time from there to here. So I can mention that as dotted lines from up to here to there. Now I will make certain small changes. So those changes are just I will make uh, one small shape set here. So from B to at the point T. Now I will take it that and uh, I represent this as T and this is time axis. This is the time and here we don't be confused this is velocity. So the graph is drawn between the velocity versus time. Now if I take this location as D and this location as E. Now to travel from O to E, it has taken time T. Now from graph, if you can write that OA equal to ED. So from graph OA equal to OA length and the ED. OA equal to and ED equal to from 0 to A. What is the distance? So that is initial velocity U. And from graph O to C. So this is the location C. From graph O to C equal to E to B which equal to final velocity V and O to E which also equal to A to D which also equal to time T. So this is the values I got it from the graph. So we, here we have considered O as origin and A is the initial location, initial 
velocity starting point and the object is already having with the initial velocity u so therefore o to a so the value is in terms of velocity which is equal to u and here e to d is also having same value so that is a o to a equal to e to d similarly o to c is the value is final velocity v similarly it is a parallel to b to e so it is also having final velocity v and in the x axis o e is the time and the a to d both are the parallel so o to e is a time t now we know that acceleration equal to acceleration equal to slope of velocity time graph now from the graph you can calculate the slope so slope equal to acceleration a equal to slope you can take that perpendicular by bd upon ad suppose if you can take from triangle aed slope equal to bd upon ad bd upon ad so from triangle a b d triangle if you can write a equal to bd value so b to d the small portion b to d so the portion b to d is nothing but b minus d we mention that b to d equal to b minus e d upon a d and we know the b e value b e equal to final velocity and e d equal to initial velocity and a d equal to time t therefore we can get that acceleration a equal to v minus u upon t which also equal to v equal to u plus a t so which is known as first equation of motion so this equation of motions we were deriving by using a graphical method uniform velocity graphical method now for the second equation of motion for the second equation of motion if you can calculate that area now if i can write that the distance traveled distance traveled by the object in time small t is s equal to area of trapezium o a b e so if you find the area of this trapezium so in this trapezium there are the two shapes are there triangle a d e and this is a one shape and one more shape is that a rectangle a rectangle o e a d so this is the another shape to calculate the distance so we need to calculate the area of the curve so the area of the trapezium equal to so i can write that s equal to area of area of a rectangle o a d e plus area of 
a triangle so that triangle is a a d b now if you can write that area formulas of rectangle i can take that o a times o e plus triangle times half times base a b times height b d so if you can substitute those corresponding values from the above o a equal to t and times o e equal to u plus half a b equal to a b equal to t and b d and b d equal to a t so from this expression if you can write that so if you can take this expression acceleration a equal to b d upon a d since since a equal to b d upon a d therefore b d equal to a times a d and the a d value equal to a times t therefore b d equal to a times t so here i can substitute that a t so finally i can write s is equal to u t plus half a t square so this is the second equation of motion so to find the second equation of motion what we did we calculate that area area of the velocity versus time graph so here one more statement the area of velocity versus time graph gives displacement so from that is for second equation of motion for the first equation of motion the slope of velocity versus time graph gives acceleration so how a beautiful geometry is related to the concept here itself and to derive the third equation of motion so let derive the third equation of motion so the third equation of motion also contains v square minus u square equal to 2as so here it also contains 2as it means di distance so here we can calculate that directly by using same distance traveled distance traveled by object in time t is same you can write that s equal to area area of trapezium o a b e yeah this statement we already know from the second equation of motion so this time also we are going to calculate area but this time i don't divide that area into fragments so directly we can substitute that area of a trapezium so area of a trapezium formula half into sum of the two parallel sides sum of parallel sides times distance distance between them so if you can write that in terms of formula half into sum of the two parallel sides here the parallel sides are eb plus oa times the distance between them goes to here o times e so here the sum of the two parallel sides if you can see that eb and oa are the two parallel lines in this trapezium so this is the o2a and this is the e2b is trapezium 
and the distance between them goes to AD or the OE. So if you can write that, if you can substitute the corresponding value set here, since OA equal to ED, now if you can rewrite the above expression, let me take big font so it can be visible to you. So S equal to half times EB plus ED times OE. Now from the early expressions, if you can substitute the corresponding value set here, what is the EB? I am having the value set here, EB equal to V, so S equal to half into V plus ED, ED equal to U, ED equal to U times OE, so OE is nothing but T. So here OE, OE value is nothing but T. So times T. So from first equation of motion, if we can write that V equal to U plus AT and V minus U upon by A equal to T. So in the place of T, if we can substitute this value. So we will end up that S equal to half times V plus U and V minus U upon A. So we can simplify that 1 by 2A times so V square minus U square. So that is in the form of A plus B into A minus B which equal to A square minus B square. So if you can read this 2a will bring that other side 2a is equal to v square minus u square. So which is third equation of motion. Therefore v square minus u square equal to 2a is. So which is known as third equation of motion. So these three are the three equations of motions to describe the motion or the relation between initial velocity, final velocity, acceleration and displacement. So these three equations of motions we derived by using graphical method. So but we will derive the same equations of motion by integration method. So that we will do after learning the basics of the integration.